Welcome to Ripixel Live. My name is Adam Hanlon um, and um, welcome to our virtual trade show. Um, this is the last presentation from Nauticam um, and obviously we're very grateful to all our colleagues in the street for um, coming on board and helping this project and um, I hope it's been worthwhile for everyone. Um, Nauticam produces obviously a wide range of products and one of them is they produce some digital cinema housings. Obviously, um, those of you that are involved in, in filmmaking will know that RED earlier this year released a new version of their camera um, and the RED Raptor is, is out and in the, in, the, in the wild as it were. Um, and so Nauticam have gone ahead in their typical fashion and have produced a housing for it and some other new products for digital cinema. So we see this is for big filmmaking, um, well, it could be natural history filmmaking, um, and they very kindly present their new products in this video. The Nauticam Raptor housing for RED Digital Cinema V-Raptor STAK VV is built around the most impressive RED offering to date, the V-Raptor. This is the first camera release to use a newer compact body style it still maintains the popular input and output options as standard. The V-Raptor features a VistaVision sensor that captures full frame 8K at a stunning 120 frames per second in the robust Red Code RAW format. Set the camera to 6K and you get a perfect S35 crop and frame rates up to 150 frames per second. Great for those moving from an existing S35 system. In addition to the more compact footprint, underwater shooters will love the massive 17 stops of dynamic range and the best low light performance yet of any RED sensor. The numerous I.O. connections on the V-Raptor allow for a variety of configurations, including control via an optional surface feed. For the solo operator, the housing will offer direct mechanical control over all crucial settings in addition to leveraging the RED RCT SDK to provide additional electronic controls similar to those found on the Nauticam housings for the RED Komodo, Canon C70, and the Zcam E2 flagship. When it comes to optics, the V-Raptor features a Canon RF mount and works seamlessly with the Nauticam N120 port system for RF mount Canon cameras. EF lenses, used with the RF to EF adapters, are also supported without any additional extension rings. The wide range of accessories available within the Nauticam Cinema lineup ensures that the housing can be customized to serve even the most demanding and complex underwater film projects. Pairing the V-Raptor with our line of premium professional optics, such as the WACP-1 and WACP-2, will deliver the best possible optical quality, essential when shooting at such high resolutions. The Nauticam NA C70 housing for the Canon EOS C70 cinema camera delivers an exciting new level of control to the smaller form factor cinema lineup. The Canon C70 is built around the RF lens mount and can capture DCI 4K at 60 frames per second or UHD 4K at 120 frames per second with more than 16 stops of dynamic range from its dual pixel CMOS Super 35 sensor. The NAC70 takes full advantage of our pioneering design that allows for the use of either RF or EF lenses without special port adapters. There are two release buttons on the front of the housing, allowing for rapid lens changes in either ecosystem. Optics are crucial to getting great footage and the NAC70 uses the N120 EF RF cinema port system. This system uses both focus and zoom rings on supported lenses, which pair with the housing's easy to reach cinema styled knobs. Driven by our mission control philosophy, the NAC70 features essential controls including iris and shutter within easy reach of the handles, thanks to the integrated Nauticam to Canon SDK control board. This board connects via pogo pins at the front of the camera tray, eliminating the risk of strained cables while opening the housing door. Pairing the NAC70 with Nauticam's premium professional optics such as the WACP1 and WACP2 provides unparalleled image quality in all conditions. The NAC70 can also be extensively accessorized thanks to 18, quarter 20, and 6 M5 mounting points for handles, external monitors, or mounting bolts. Part of what makes the Canon C70 so great for underwater work is the best in industry dual pixel autofocus and accurate custom one touch white balance. Adding to this is the integrated neutral density filters, helping to balance even the harshest lighting conditions. 
C70 becomes the perfect system for those needing an agile yet powerful imaging platform with the ease of setup that Nauticam housings are famous for. The Nauticam NA E2F supports the flagship series of Zcam cinema cameras. These powerful yet compact cameras provide excellent production value, capturing up to 8K video in an attractively small form factor that's ideal for traveling or fast moving environments. The NA E2F supports three versions of the flagship E2 series. Each of the cameras feature the ability to output ProRes RAW over HDMI or record in Zcam ZRAW format internally. The E2 S6 captures 6K at 60 frames per second from a Super 35 sensor, 14 stops at dynamic range, while the E2 F6 has the same recording specs but features a full frame sensor. The E2 F8 can record 8K or 6K at 30 frames per second and features dual native ISO and 14 stops at dynamic range. There are 17 lane control buttons ergonomically placed around the housing, including dedicated iris, record, focus, neutral density, and others. Quarter 20 size mounting threads are located on the top and bottom of the housing for easy mounting of cinema accessories. The NA E2F supports an Ethernet surface feed in 5 meter and 45 meter lengths. The Zcam E2 lineup offers a wide range of remote control options, including live preview over Ethernet. This opens up the option of using an Ethernet to lightning adapter and having an iPad or iPhone on the surface to allow monitoring and full control via the Zcam app. The NA E2F uses the N120 cinema port system shared with Nauticam's other N120 platform cameras, which allows for easy transition to the NA E2F from other N120 Nauticam systems. The NA E2F features both an M28 and four M16 bulkheads to support both the HDMI 2.0 and HDMI 1.4 connections. The Zcam E2 lineup requires an external monitor. Nauticam produces several options for both small HD and Atomos monitors. To access the 12-bit ProRes RAW recording, you will need to use the Atomos Ninja V monitor with the Nauticam Ninja V housing. The Canon EOS C500 Mark II and EOS C300 Mark III are Canon's latest addition to their robust and expansive digital cinema lineup. 12G SDI output and internal cinema RAW light recording separate these cameras from the entry-level cinema cameras. Both models also utilize Canon's dual pixel autofocus technology that we have come to love. The choice of both full frame and Super 35 sensor cameras that work in the same housing provide incredible flexibility. Whether you need extra resolution, higher frame rates, or access to a wider range of lenses, you can now choose the best tool for any given project. Taking advantage of the small form factor of the C500 Mark II and the C300 Mark III, the Nauticam NA C500 II is ultra portable. It offers full access to the camera's critical functions. We've taken a modular approach to this system, similar to our other professional cinema housings, with a wide variety of add-ons from top handles to skids and movable trim weights. The NA C500 II features multiple bulkhead openings for HDMI SDI bulkheads to support an external monitor or surface monitor feed. The housing also supports the Canon LM V2 4.3 inch LCD monitor in the rear of the housing for a more streamlined approach. Regardless of where a button or control dial may lie on the camera body, Nauticam engineers obsess over making sure that access to that control on the housing be intuitively placed for ease of use to ensure no shot is missed while searching for a button or dial. To take this a step further, Nauticam has also integrated the Nauticam to Canon SDK control board, which places a variety of electronic controls at your fingertips. The Nauticam NA C502 uses the same N120 port system as the previous NA C200 housing, which makes for a seamless transition for those upgrading to the C500 Mark II or C300 Mark III. While this system provides exceptional optical glass and flat port solutions for a variety of PF mount lenses, the real power can be realized using Nauticam's water contact optics. The WACP-1 and WACP-2 achieve ultra-wide 130-degree fields of view with reduced distortion over conventional optics while featuring an almost 0-inch minimum focus distance, zoom-through capabilities, and unbeatable corner sharpness at even wide-open apertures such as f5.6. Komodo is Red's smallest form factor most economically priced camera to date. 
The feature set is clearly aimed at those requiring professional level specs in a travel friendly package, which accurately describes the majority of today's underwater filmmakers. The Komodo camera features a 6K Super 35 sensor with up to 16 stops of dynamic range that records directly to CFast 2.0 cards, eliminating the need for expensive proprietary media. It also features Canon's new RF mount with full support of the Canon EF to R lens adapters, allowing a wide variety of focal lengths to be used. The Nottingham Komodo housing is officially RED approved. The housing is engineered in a similar fashion to previous Epic LT and DSMC2 LT housings, providing the most compact and travel-friendly RED housing possible. Komodo offers seamless integration with DSLR lenses and the same N120 port system used in Nottingham DSLR and cinema systems. Enjoy unmatched, user-friendly setup and intuitive operation, including toolless setup and teardown in minutes. Batteries can be swapped without ever removing the camera from the housing, and lens changes can be accomplished in seconds. Large, cinema-styled control wheels on the housing, located within easy reach of the handles, provide precise manual focus and zoom control with supported lenses when used with the corresponding lens gear set. Komodo has a built-in monitor on top of the camera. The Nauticam Komodo does feature a large window for using the Komodo's built-in monitor to be used for an extremely streamlined solution. If an additional monitoring option is required, the Atomos Shinobi SDI monitor or the Atomos Ninja 5 monitor with Atomax SDI module are an ideal lightweight monitoring solution. The Shinobi and Ninja 5 monitor back options support the use of the Atomos Shinobi SDI monitor and the Ninja 5 monitor inside the rear of the housing, allowing them to be viewed by the camera operator from a natural filming position. While the Nauticam Komodo housing is engineered to allow for full control by the operator, it also supports an Ethernet surface feed in 5 meter and 45 meter lengths. Within the housing, there is space to install a small Ethernet router, which would allow for full control of the camera at the surface through the RED Control app.